Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Keen Software House live stream. Hello. And here we go. We're in. Welcome and happy sixth Space Engineers anniversary, guys. It's uh, been a long time. Uh, well, it's been a long time, now, hasn't it? It's been a good, it's been a right old journey. And as you can see, we're in a new office. Um, I'm not sure if you want to add anything about that, Marek. Like, really... It's just a new temporary office. Because we are moving from place to place until we'll be in our final super cool office. I didn't realise, actually, all the I'm saying all the stuff this, the stuff behind us here. I didn't realise that they can see. So you should probably get on and talk about it so we can roll the clip. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it suddenly occurred to me. So, um, mainly, Marek, like... Um, would you ever have expected SE to be where it is today? Like, actually, now? yes. Yeah, that was my expectation from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. But I think there is still a lot of uh, unexplored things in the future of space engineers. You know, things where we can get like the next milestone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, there's. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's. Still plenty of plans in the works. We'll get on to talking about it in just a bit. But as you can see, you can probably see some things behind me here. It's kind of like the teasers of the teasers. Um, the one final thing I want to ask you guys is, how many years have you been following the project for? So you could say six years, which would be the very start, five years, four years. I'm just kind of curious right now in chat to see how many people we've had, um, how long you guys have been around. Let's see. Wow, look at that there, Mary. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> nice. so that's some some fast chat as well. It's kind of hard to see so many, so many. There's so much there. But do you think we should roll the clip, the Merrick? Anything else you want to add uh, for now before we? Maybe let's uh, play the. Okay. Time. All right then, guys. So without further ado, happy sixth anniversary, and let's play the clip. Will it ever stop? Our need to create. We don't think so. And just when you think you've seen it all, we discover a whole new world to explore. Wherever adversity exists, there's a space engineer who yearns to overcome it. Whenever someone says it's not possible, we prove them wrong. With every new challenge we face, we find the right tool to help us prevail against all odds. If complications arise from pushing technology to its limits, we strive to find solutions. A world filled with choices while working amongst the stars. A place filled with music for you and your fellow engineers. Somewhere that's full of endless possibilities. Where science and creativity fuse into the technology of tomorrow. Spaces dedicated to rejuvenation and relaxation. Areas dedicated to viewing the known and that which lies beyond. Stations that provide the best medical care for you and your comrades. Locations for analyzing data which can mean the difference between life and death. Situations where the right features can result in something truly special. Sites that have been built with both functionality and beauty in mind. Venues that are safe and stylish. Creations that are equipped to deal with any situation. Communities that are teeming with engineers and resources from across the galaxy. Will our need to create ever stop? Absolutely not. Introducing decorative pack number two. Unleash your need to create. There you have it, guys. So, 
announcing the anniversary update and the decorative pack Mark II. And uh, of course, there's a, there's a mix there of both free and premium content. Uh, the free content, there's both the ba uh, sorry, this change, damaged armor skin, rusty skin, small ship ladders uh, are all a uh, part of the free platform update. So if you guys who like to make those uh, kind of older, bashed up looking ships, I mean, honestly, the damaged armor is, is my favorite skin that we've actually made. It's like, really, like it's, you wait until you see it in the scenario, which is, uh, we've got to get on to talking about, oh, and of course the scenario as well, which is actually the most exciting and probably the biggest part of the free update is the Lost Colony scenario. It's a huge map that's been created. Uh, I'm not sure if, the details that we want to go into of that. Maybe is... let's give a signal to Philip so he oh, can. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You wanna? He can unleash the release. So unleash the release. There Philip, we go. I unleash, see him there. there unleash the release. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, the scenario is actually. Oh, actually, we'll get the blog post up here now. Um, let's see if that's been posted. Um, the scenario is it's it's a scenario designed to be explored alone or with uh, a small group group of players, and you basically go out there and discover the secrets. The level design is, it's, it's probably the coolest official map we've ever made. So that is something right off the bat you guys can uh, get stuck into. And then we have the decorative pack two, which comes with, I think 14 blocks, but actually there's more, when you think of all the variants, there's like straight railings, double railings. So there's actually more than that when you have all the, all the variants of the said one. Um, Let's see here. And, uh, did you mention who is the creator of the? Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna go onto that now. Okay. Do you wanna? So um, the creator of that map is actually someone from the community, who we've. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if, in terms of uh, the, we uh, we're working with him now, and that is Smocky. Smocky, or in the chat, Smocky S O S O E in the chat. And you guys will have seen Smocky's creations in my trailers that I've created over the, you know, the last year or so, because you know we feel that his his art style and design kind of perfectly encapsulates like the the uh, the the ideal or, the, or like the the stereotypical uh, like uh, styling of space engineers. So Smocky actually worked with us on this, and uh, he's gone ahead and created this. Uh, with our designers and our programmers and it really is a fantastic scenario and you'll find that in the new world screen so when you la launch the game and go new game you will have like the the classic campaign the learning to survive and you'll have the lost colony right there in that brand new scenario screen so um, big big shout out and love to Smocky it's uh, it's incredible uh, work he's done and I hope you guys agree when you get stuck into it right off um, yeah anything you want to add Marek? Uh, regarding the scenario, I would like to add that uh, we are really interesting to hear your experience with the scenario and how much you kind of want something like this, uh, this direction in Space Engineer. So having story based uh, scenarios. So this is something that we really need to know from you because we like it and uh, it would be great if uh, the community also likes it. And one clarification. So uh, of course there is the paid DLC, but it's quite cheap only uh, four dollars and uh, uh, everything else uh, in the in this update is for free you know including the scenario including like all the optimizations and fixes and improvements and everything and also including this uh, this new seat and and many other things you know everything is in the blog post and I think Jesse is copy pasting the link to the blog post uh, in the chat yeah and we're gonna go through some of that now because we also have some Xbox news and optimizations uh, because of Xbox, which are filtering back the PC version and also improve controller support. Um, so actually, if you plug in a, a controller into, into the PC version, you'll see a little sneak peek of what we're cooking up for the Xbox variant as well. And actually, um, we can actually work away for the blog post, Marek, if you want to. We'll have to read it out yeah, yeah. for Let, things, but the points-wise. So. Um, I think okay. first up, we, it's the, go on, you wanna, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just a couple days ago, we won a Central European, Central and Eastern European game award in the technology category, which means that 
uh, because Space Engineers was officially released this year, uh, you know that's why we are we are um, nominated and uh, we won it for the technology. I think it's quite obvious <laughs> why we won uh, for the technology, you know, because right, like without me being uh, like you can show too, show too, off the too, thing there, Mark, yeah, as well, too cocky or something. I really <laughs> think that the technology that we have in Space Engineers is uh, something unique and great. And uh, thanks for the team to, to be able actually uh, to be programming on this level. So we want this thing, which is nice appreciation of all that work that went into creation of our own engine. So next thing, Joel. Uh, so that was amazing. Yes. Yeah, so and we'll hopefully just in terms of the stream, guys, what we're going to do is today, I'm just going to give a rough overview so you know what's coming up. Um, we're going to go through this together, Marek. Then we're going to get Natik from the art team, because as you can imagine, there's a lot of stuff uh, art base in this update. So we're going to have Natik come on, and then Marek will come back on later. And hopefully we'll have some time for some uh, questions as well. And actually, I see there, uh, there's Smocky in the chat, guys. Smocky SOE. So let's see some love in the chat for Smocky, because he put, he's done an incredible job with that scenario. Like, it's honestly, my mind was blown. Like, I really think it's the, probably the best level design I've ever seen done in Space Engineers, and I hope you guys agree with me when you see it. It's it's absolutely immersive as, as heck. <laughs> so, um, moving on now, uh, we've got the the first of the part of the free update here. So there's a, there's a lot of things in here um, that get in that balance of free and uh, premium stuff. So the first up is the small ladder blocks. You guys can now use the ladders. We know how much you love ladders. Uh, you can now use ladders on small grids, be that, you know, rovers or be that like uh, anything, that small grid pretty much. That's a really uh, nice little addition there. As I said, you can never have too many ladders, right? So, um, let's see here. And secondly, we've already discussed it, which is the New World Scenario, the Lost Colony. And Smokey actually won Imagina uh, Imagining Space Engineers 2. So if you haven't seen uh, Smokey's Imagining Space Engineers 2 video, I also recommend that because I think there's a lot of ideas in there where we see it and we think, yeah, actually there's some pretty cool things that I think are in our mind and our vision as well. Um, so we hired him to work on this brand new world and um, the world that tells the story and takes you to places that you could not find before. So it's definitely some interesting stuff. Um, yeah, but big thank you again, man. Also in the free update, we've got the new armor skin. So you'll find both uh, uh, damaged and rusty armor. Everyone's got that. You'll find it in your Steam inventory as well. And that's a really nice contrast to some of the, the kind of shinier, cleaner uh, skins that are out there already. So you can really make those uh, rustic junkyards or like uh, industrial vehicles. A cool, aren't they, Matt? The, the skins, the guys are doing a really, really great job on mm -hmm. these. Yeah. Okay. Before we go on to the decorative pack, I want to continue because we jumped around a bit here, but I want to continue the stuff that's included in the game. Uh, yeah, here we go. So, also, news about Xbox version. Uh, is that okay if I just read this, Marek? Do you want to? Do you want? Would you like to read it? Uh, you can. Okay. Yeah. Um. Basically, our team has already finished the uh, Xbox MVP version and it's being tested right now. Uh, and uh, the main thing is, if you're interested to become an Xbox tester, please do contact us at info at Keen Software House because we are looking for testers to help us uh, test with that. Ideally, people who you know have Xboxes and are passionate about Xbox and the control, especially using Xbox controllers to you know to control that stuff. But with this release, even though the Xbox is you know still some time away, we're releasing Xbox optimizations into the PC build because, as you know, Xboxes they are uh, as powerful as the average PC. So lots of work has been done to make sure that that runs well on Xbox, but because of those changes, it filters back to the PC version. So people on PC will also reap the benefits from that uh, hard work the team have been doing on the Xbox version. And also you'll find some in really interesting controller support 
Um, there's some, when you plug in your controller, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But there's a really exciting stuff for uh, controller users. Anything else you want to add about Xbox, Marek? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think the, the main thing is that uh, we are iterating the user interface controls, as Joel said, making just another iteration right now. And uh, uh, so, it, like, the Xbox release is not that far away from, from now. Yeah. That's the main thing for me. That's, which is great, because for a long time you just said, We'll have more news, but we really are getting close now. And just simply the fact you can actually see the, the progress in somewhat in this actual release. So very uh, exciting stuff for all those Xbox players out there who have been waiting for that. So we go on to now, um, let's see here. Other also, there's a, a, there's a long list of bug fixes and improvements, which you guys can check out on the forums. And a lot of that stuff also comes from the support site. So we'd like to thank you as always for actually um, using that site to both suggest ideas and report bugs and stuff because we, you know, our testing team use that and we're happy to say that, you know, a bunch of things were resolved because of your, uh, you know, discovering of these, these quirky things out there. Uh, we now move on to the decorative pack two. So, um, Similar to previous major releases, we decided to give you an opportunity to support the further development of Space Engineers. And we've created a second pack, which consists of cosmetic items designed to enrich your game. Um, the second edition, hold on a second. And again, it's on 399 uh, USD or your regional equivalent. And I'm sure the guys will link it in chat if you um, are interested. And Mario, did you have any? What was your? Um, what was? Have you? What's your favorite block from the new pack? Is there something that really caught your eye with it when the guys were making the list? I think the. Uh, I remember the name? You know the thing with the uh, uh, Coke. Ah, uh, yeah, the dispenser. Yes, that's the first on the list actually. Yeah, that one and the jukebox. Yeah, the two that we got. So the uh, the dispenser is it basically we actually have two items which are also again in the. Um, in the game now for everyone and that is we have clang cola and cosmic coffee and these are consumable items which uh i actually philip i was asking philip does does the does the cosmic coffee does it give you a buff or something it boosts your energy does it it boosts your health, okay. So it's like a med kit, pretty much. Just had to confirm that there, because I haven't actually, I've, I've been filming it and doing the videos, but I didn't actually consume it. So yeah, so the Cosmic Coffee and Clang Cola actually um, will be basically add the same way as a med kit will. So it's like a, a variant of that. And uh, Joel, just a clarification, the small control seat is not part of the deco pack. It is. It is. It is part of the deco pack. Okay. Uh, was this? Because some people are asking. Okay. I wasn't sure, you know, like, which is what. Let's see here. I think it's uh, it already scrolled down. Okay, right, gotcha. Okay. Um, and always when it comes to this, it's uh, let's see. So maybe let's continue okay, from yeah. the blog post. Um, so yeah, the dispenser uh, will dispense those. And it will act a bit like the store block where you can interact with the buttons and it will dispense these, these colas or the, the coffee. We have a jukebox, which is, uh, it acts the same way as a sound block does, except you have this visual interface, which you can play, pause and skip tracks. You can add a list of uh, music tracks. And we have, a lot of we have a lot of music, all from the game files. Um, so you can basically make a playlist on there and then you know you can pause play and skip with the the screen there so it's another thing to kind of use to decorate your uh your, your ships with and i'm sure modders will have a good time actually adding music and and whatnot to actually have more variety in there um next we have that small control seat which is the same uh size as the enclosed ones actually uh i don't know the stats off the top of my head but the the kind of the block size of that it's three by three by three i believe 
Um, so it's that open control seat there. Uh, next, lab equipment. And this is, again, this is, it's, um, again, something to decorate, something to make your ships look more sciencey. Uh, yeah, another really cool model from the art team. We have the shower. I know, obviously, last time we've, we've had some other, uh, you know, uh, living kind of blocks. And it's about time that our engineers washed you know, somewhat after all that hard, after a hard day's work. So, you were sh yes, yeah, shower block there. We've also got uh, probably one of my favorites, if not the favorite, is the window walls. And this is actually a modular block, and there's uh, it's three different blocks. You have window wall left, window wall middle, and then the right. So you can ha either have a window wall that's just two blocks wide, so the, the left and the right side, or you can have infinite because the middle section just, um, you know, continues on it. Let's see, there's a picture here I can point out. Yeah, here. So this is actually three, one, two, three. But if you want to have only two, uh, you can do. If you want to have 10, you can do. So you can have a long, long strip of windows, however long you like. So that's three blocks in that window wall selection there. Um, so really nice. I'm glad the guys did that. It's not, yeah, not a one by, because I think some people saw in the teasers and speculated that it was a one by three block, but no, it is a one by whatever you want it to be a block. Um, next up is the medical station. Again, this isn't functional. This is, uh, it's a, just a cool looking, it's kind of like a, a cat scanner, you know. Um, you, again, we can always point back here, but for reference. I see what we can do is maybe we can actually go switch to the slideshow here. There we go, you can see some of the screenshots of the, the artist created these really cool things. You see the jukebox in action there. Um, let's leave this a second. There's the lab equipment. Very cool. <laughs> Typical, I'll skip and it'll come to the medical station. You can see a medical station in the back there. It's a really, really nice block though. Um, next up, there, there it is, there is the medical station. Kind of like that CAT scanner. Um, on the list now, we've got the transparent LCD block. And uh, that of course acts in a similar way to LCDs, except you can see through it. So there's some really, they look really cool now. For like ship bridges and stuff like that, it's, it allows a really cool looking uh, uh, effect actually. So I'm really digging the transparent LCDs. Uh, we have the grated catwalks. Let's see if again, I'm gonna switch, flick back to the slideshow here. You see the catwalks on the ground. The catwalks again consist of, uh, there's, I'm trying to remember how many variants there are there. Uh, I think there is, Three or four, you have, it's the same as the standard catwalk block. You have like flat catwalks about anything. You have one side railing. You have, that's a kind of clan color there. Color there. Mm -hmm. um, corner catwalk. So it follows the same as the thing. So I think there's four catwalk blocks. But as you can see in the video, you know, Smoky in that scenario used those really well to actually make uh, fences as well. So you don't have to use the catwalks just for the floor. They can create a really nice effect for the ground as well. So that's a really great screenshot there. Some of the new blocks in there. The catwalk I'd imagine isn't airtight. It probably is, if it, normally if it, looks, if it looks like it's not airtight, it, it isn't. But uh, we'll have to double check that actually. So come back in here. This is really good, like uh, this deco pack too. Yeah, the, the artists have done a fantastic, mm -hmm. really. They, they, they keep stepping up the quality, yeah. I think. Especially when I see it in all these screenshots and uh, animations, for example, on the blog post or in your trailer, mm -hmm. uh, it really looks, looks great. And uh, also how it can enrich the, the environment in the game. It's very nice. Yeah. It's kind of surprising, actually, how the game evolved. Oh, for sure. Like, you know, like if we went in the last six months. True, yeah, like visually, all these visually. Blocks, I don't know how many new blocks we added in all these deco packs and everything and free updates, but I would say it would be tense, right? Well, now I think we've... Because I think this is 14, it was 14, kind it was of like 14. 12 before, so there's like nearly 30. Plus, there are always some new blocks with, uh, you know, like the economy update and everything, so 
maybe we are at like 40 oh, new point. blocks since yeah. the release, which is kind of unexpected to be honest, even for me. So we'll continue our way. Oh, uh, on a second, there was one I wanted to share. There's the grated stairs and half stairs. So there's a way now you can have these these stairs, but also um, you can have stairs that take up half a block space. So you can make really compact uh, stairwells, even more so that you see in some of the pictures here, where they literally only take up half a block. So if you want like a really narrow staircase going up the side of a ship or something, then the half stairs will be there for you. So I think, um, again, the stairs, there's actually two blocks there. You have the greatest stairs and the half greatest stairs. So I, th I really think the total block count would be more like nearly 20 in this pack. Um, next up, the railings, uh, again, for safety and all that stuff. Uh, we have, uh, I believe, three variants, I think. Uh, definitely two. You have the straight, the diagonal ones, and I think there's also ones for the corners as, as well, I believe. But I'd have to check that. Um, on to the final two now. We have the rotating light. So, of course, it's possible to be able to do this with a, a rotor and uh, spotlights. I'm not sure where the idea came from actually internally, but um, it's a really nice block for making those kind of construction vehicles or police cars. And it basically functions as a interior light. So the performance is very good. It's just it's an, anima it's an animated block rather than a physics based block. And it's just on and off and you can change the color and you can have it flashing as well as spinning at the same time. So yeah, some really cool stuff there in the rotator block. And finally, we have the freight. Uh, blocks and there's actually uh, two of those or, th or three of those and there's a couple of combinations you have a single freight you have like one that's like a, a freight stacked and again it's more so they're not conveyed um, they're more for like you know decorating um, uh, builds and uh, ships and hangers and so on but you can use them as storage they have like I think the the small one has a thousand the biggest one has three thousand uh, liters so you can definitely use those for also um, storage as well but they, they look very nice for kind of uh, filling out those those ship decks here so and just a side note uh, there is some discussion about the optimizations so I will just remind mm -hmm. that uh, with this update, we also did many optimizations. That, uh, like the main reasons, uh, reason why we did this optimization is was the preparation for the Xbox update, because Xbox has different hardware than your regular PC. So we had to optimize certain things to make sure there are no lags and uh, or the memory use usage is more optimized and so on. So we did these things for mainly for Xbox, but of course there is no reason why to keep them only for. Xbox, so that's why we are releasing them also with this update. Yeah, it's it's really it's it's always good to you know it's been always been a gradual thing with performance and getting that up over the years and of course like for the Xbox we really had to step it up in many ways to 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 utilize the the RAM that we have on that system. So yeah, it's it really will especially for those of you who have uh, lower RAM systems. You guys will definitely appreciate some of these uh, these. Uh, trickle down uh, optimizations from the Xbox version. Um, also worth announcing that we've got a sale on actually, and we, we'd like to celebrate the sixth anniversary of Space Engineers uh, by giving you guys a, a special limited time discount for not only the base game, but our existing DLCs. So apart from the new one. So you'll find a 30% discount on all the previous DLCs and on all of our games as well. So. 30% discount across the Keen Software House uh, board, uh, minus the, 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 this today's uh, Deco Pack 2. And that will be running today until uh, November 4th. So you've got a, like, what's that? Over a week there to, to pick that, that deal up. You can buy everything there for $29, is that correct? So is that, is that kind of like the ultimate edition, Mr. Redstone? Is that like if you were to get all the, the content there? Um, do you want me to, do you think we should like go through this FAQ mark and where I kind of like answer it and then you could do the answers or? Well, maybe just quickly. Okay. I, I, I can do it maybe. You go on then. So w why another decorative pack? Uh, so uh, in the blog post you can read like more uh, detailed answer. The thing is that uh, 
of course, if you want to support the development of space engineers, you know, like even for the future, the company needs to have some money and we are testing what is the best strategy. Uh, Decopex looks to be best because it's not uh, some kind of paywall to the features. It's more like, you know, like supporting the, the game uh, with quite low prices and getting some non-essential uh, things, you know, new blocks, basically. So we think this could be a good way. And uh, and also, uh, it's about the schedu scheduling of the team and so on. So, for example, right now, how it looks in Keen is that programmers and designers are working on the Xbox version. That's their main thing. And it's usually these optimizations or customizing the user interface for Xbox. And so the artists, uh, not that they have nothing to do, but good use of their time is to actually build new uh, new blocks or deco blocks for the game so kind of makes sense uh, another question could be uh, if people should expect new uh, paid uh, DLC or pack every three months so I wouldn't say yes or no this is still kind of open and uh, uh, would we think about a new project uh, maybe we can <laughs> keep this or okay or well we, the answer there is that you, you know, we say obviously but yeah, obviously yeah. thinking about that because it's uh, it's only natural for a you know game developer and after six yeah. years of SE so actually know, so. we are thinking and also I'm personally thinking I have pretty clear uh, idea about uh, what I would like for the next game to be and uh, but Officially, in Keen, we still haven't decided, you know, like right now, really, our focus is to finish the Xbox. Then we will do some research and then we will uh, commit to one project and continue working on this. And uh, my vision for for the future of Space Engine is actually quite clear. And uh, if it was exactly as it is in my head right now, which is not a promise or, or anything, it's just like what I'm dreaming about right now is space engineers where uh, what you can build in the game has the same complexity as now except it's more accessible let's say more intuitive easier to use that's one thing another uh, NPCs or living worlds uh, another world uh, another world uh, you know like more living world another thing is open and that uh, world without corridors still open-ended but with a story this is very important for me and few more kind of like uh, stretch wishes that I have, but again, all of these are not promises, so please don't take them as some kind of kin roadmap. Uh, other wishes would be um, uh, to have the game VR ready. Maybe not like for you know like the next iteration to do VR, but I think the whole world is kind of moving to VR gaming more or less, and. Uh, uh, I, I actually uh, would love to make a VR game, especially after I uh, played with the Oculus mm, Quest. Yeah. You know, it's like really changed my my view on on VR from just like okay, it's cool, but like it's kind of annoying to have this cable and PC and everything. To where in Oculus Quest, it's all like wireless. You don't have cables, and it's just so good. Like I so much enjoy playing VR games on Oculus Quest. So obviously for me it's very natural to want to make a VR game sometime in the future. And uh, yeah, so this is my my vision uh, or my dream. It's still not a not a roadmap or anything official. So please take it with some kind of you know uh, as as not promised or anything like that. As well, it's worth checking if you. This is a reminder if you guys would like to experience uh, SE Universe in VR. Uh, Sektan, who's actually in the chat, created a, a VR demo uh, where he exported Space Engineers assets into Unreal. And so if you have a VR headset, you can actually kind of walk around a world created uh, in Space Engineers in VR right now. So maybe if you guys, maybe the mods or Sektan can link that up. Um, it's, it's really cool to actually just like see Space Engineers blocks and things in VR because you get a really good sense of the scale of things. So it's obviously in that demo you, you can't build and play space engineers like you normally would but if you would like to just get a sense of what vr uh nsc could look like and uh you know see how those yeah, all those blocks kind of uh, feel 
then definitely check out that, that demo by Sectan. It's, it's on Steam for free, so you check it out. And he's going to continue working on it, apparently, as well. It's still work in progress, but you can play it right now. Um, just checking with Jesse. Uh, everything's okay. Right, good. Um, I'm flicking down the blog post here. We've got a video to show later. There's just the one more thing I can think of is that we've now uh, added some more merch to the merch store uh, for this new update. We've added some uh, Clang Cola and uh, uh, Cosmic Coffee themed um, items. So if you're looking to pick up some new merch uh, with some of the new uh, designs that the artists have done for this update, definitely check out the, uh, the eShop. And I'm sure one of the guys, uh, the mods in chat, or Bl or Jess or Blitz can uh, link that up for us. Okay. Sectan's link. Let's see. So it's hard to multitask here. Um, hopefully, uh, Sectan can link it, Nico. If if not, uh, <laughs> uh, some people are asking how they can become uh, Xbox testers. So uh, in our blog post, there is more information, but I think the main thing is to send email to info at kinswh.com. And uh, you know, this will get you in touch with Jesse and other guys. And uh, then you can start testing uh, the Xbox Space Engineers. And also there was another interesting question was about if uh, we will not change the PC version by you know like the xbox uh, user interface changes or in other words sometimes when uh, someone is making a xbox clone or, or like xbox port of the game they also modify the pc version of the game so we don't want to do this there will be some small options to have the xbox experience also on pc if you are using xbox controller but by default uh, when you are playing pc you know keyboard mouse uh, the game will look like as it already looks and the reason is that we just cannot change the game for players who are, who are already used to uh, to play it in some way, you know, like, uh, it's not <laughs> it's not safe. So uh, don't worry about this. And actually the, uh, the UI, because obviously when you're on a controller, the, the guys have been working really hard, uh, you know, with members of our testing group already to uh, figure out the best way to have this controller support for Xbox. Um, and uh, obviously we're kind of going down the radial menu route for that and uh, I think if you plug in your Xbox controller right now it should automatically detect and you should actually see this uh, this new uh, GUI uh, pop up we could actually if while we're I'm not sure if Marek if you'd like to if you'd like to if you should get in the T-Con for a bit and then you can come back and... I was thinking I can play the game for a bit as well. Should play for that scenario a bit. It's up to you, I'm not sure if there's... Maybe I'll finish now. Okay. Yeah, so let, let's finish. So what, what else is there in the in the blog post? Uh, so we've gone through this. I was checking the, the discounts that are live. Yeah. Xbox, Xbox version, done. merchandise, and the final, the compilation video we're gonna play at the end of the stream. Okay. And then there's a bit here about uh, what's next yeah, kind of thing. And we kind and of, we kind of we covered that. So. Also about the hiring. So yes. uh, obviously in Keen, we are always looking for new people, uh, new talented people. And uh, you've probably seen the banners, uh, you know, like we want you kind of thing. So we are looking for programmers, game designers, UX designers, level designers, character animators, 3D artists, video creators, and uh, stuff like that. And also, uh, like a new change is actually that uh, from now on even remote work is possible. It's not kind of preferred thing. We we like to work with our people here on site, but uh, we also don't want to lose the opportunity to what to work with people you know uh, who just cannot move to Prague. So remote work is also possible. So if you are interested in working on space engineers or like some future space engineers, and you are a programmer, artist, designer, or something like that and uh, or you know someone who may be interested uh, just let us know yep. uh, send email to jobs at uh, com. you can also see the like can go work. to our website and, and uh, see more information about what are the requirements or what is our company offering and so on so uh, yeah Kin is always hiring and uh, yeah people are 
I think when, when you said about remote work, some people were uh, peaked up in chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, oh, remote work, you say? <laughs> so there we go. And some people are asking if for the remote work they will get loot boxes. <laughs> no, it's probably a different question. So uh, Teste Storenus is asking what level of programming is required. So I would say we really would wish to work with like really experienced senior programmers. Uh, but if there are talented, uh, you know, like junior uh, junior programmers who can show that they are talented and willing to learn and willing to work on challenging tasks uh, in terms of like pushing the technology far- further, can be also uh, juniors. That's a good, good answer. Uh, Kitten Lisbeth is asking, do you hire people from Argentina? So yes. Actually, Daniel is uh, one of our colleagues, is from Brazil. And Ventus Prime is asking Marek, who has been, who was your first employee? So it's actually funny because I think it was Petr Minažik. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Or maybe not the totally first, maybe the second one. But uh, uh, yeah, and that's, I don't know, like eight years ago or something like that, like a really long time ago. Maybe even more than eight years. Because that was, of course, that was before even Essie. That was from Minor Wars days, yeah. of course. Because, like, technically, how old is Keen now? When was when was Keen officially formed? You know, I don't remember. But I think it will be like nine years, ten years, or something like that. Uh, just there we go. So yeah, we're gonna. Uh, there's all the questions there. What about college students that want to intern remotely? Now we do do internships, but I think I think and, probably uh, not intern, not yeah. remote internships. There's probably yeah. too many of two things. Remote yeah. and intern is probably so. Yeah. But we have else? many interns yeah? here also in Good AI, and it works well. That's uh, I think uh, like very good opportunity for anyone. Oh. So Definitely, a, a number of people were interns and then went on to work for us full time. So it can, in, in, not just, you know, just in general, internships can be a great way to kind of get yourself on the, uh, you know, on the ladder, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, definitely something to consider if you guys are at that stage of your lives, you know. So Joel, before I leave, uh-huh. can, maybe let's ask me these five questions. Okay. So yeah, the, the so question- you, you should ask me, so uh, it's not like I'm asking myself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the questions that I wanted to ask you, uh, was we asked Berko earlier, was, it's been six years, so let's, let's, there's been a lot's happened, you know, teams change a lot, it's grown a lot. Uh, my question would be is, what were your top five favorite moments or most proud moments from developing space engineers over these years? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I was when I was preparing for this, I was thinking a little bit about these yeah. uh, five things, and of course I cannot... Uh, I can list only five, so uh, I will miss many of the nice moments that I remember. But my top five uh, would be when Space Engineers got on Early Access. When or, it first launched, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all the the feedback that we get, uh, that we got, and uh, everything that was the first moment. Second was with Planets, because it was like kind of huge, literally huge thing uh, being added to the game. Then visual tweaks are actually loud, and uh, also the trailer that we created for oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was probably still probably my favorite trailer as well. Yeah, like yeah, just yeah. visually, it was. Cause I think even uh, we talk about it, the fact that in that particular time, the the bloom was and stuff like that was even turned up even more. And for the trailer, that that made a lot of sense and that looked really great. Yeah. Um, then a uh, replay tool, which I think we did with the same update, but I'm not entirely sure right now you know visual tweaks and replay tool i think we did them kind of at the same time but the replay tool was a big thing for me because yeah. it allowed us to create all these more complicated uh, trailers you know which with many engineers and some kind of mm-hmm. stories and everything so that was a big thing and then of course release from early access that was another big moment that it was some kind of like the end result of six seven years of work so uh, again early access planets visual tweaks replay tool and releasing from early access that would be my top five but of course there are many other uh, like even recent the the economy update 
was one of those that just didn't fit on my list. But no, I didn't expect it. Yeah, because the thing is that it was a really great update, like adding a lot of new gaming possibilities to the game. Another thing was is that uh, it was designed by other people in the team, but still following some kind of vision that I set myself for the game, mm-hmm. which was great. And uh, yeah, and there will be many other things. So, okay, so I will stop now. Okay. And uh, I will call Natik. Okay. Sure, yeah. So thank you guys and thank see you, much, you sometime later. Yeah, we'll just call you back and I guess we can we can just kind of wrap it up and say well, maybe, I mean like later, like it's some future. Oh, okay, all right, he's leaving now. Future okay, so thank events. you so much, Mark, for joining us here and answering the questions. And we'll be back. Uh, actually, we, we've got a stream tomorrow, guys, it's worth pointing out. We've got a, a special uh, spooky stream tomorrow uh, and we'll, we'll talk more about that later. But uh, Marek, uh, thank you very much, man. Mm-hmm. And, thank uh, you. Bye-bye. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're going to check out the game a little bit now as Natik is here. So, guys, welcome Natik. He is hey. the uh, the lead artist for Space Engineers. And, uh, of course, his, 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 him and his team have done a huge amount of work yeah, for this indeed. particular update. So, where do we even begin? <laughs> well, maybe let's start with uh, some pictures that I've sent you. We can discuss them. And, first of all, I'm, uh, I'm really happy to be uh, involved in all of this, in, in this um, uh, creative process we've been into. I'm really proud to work on such a cool uh, creative things and I'm really excited about this uh, update. It's so cool and uh, it was really fun. It was really fun to work on. Um, so if you will I'm just show... Gonna, I'm going to cook something up here. Um, I, I, I had all the other images but not mm-hmm. the... I didn't. I have got them but I haven't actually... So uh-huh. you, the clan concepts first? Yeah we can start with the with our favorite Okay. Clan call, you know. <laughs> so this is a funny story. Actually, I think that it just started with um, just an idea that, well, you know, everybody was talking about clan, 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 clan. And obviously it's some uh, iconic thing, some iconic artifact in space, space engineers universe, you know. Yeah, so it was uh, this model, actually, it was like um, my... Um, my uh, exercise in 3D modeling. So I was just doing some stuff. I was uh, researching some stuff in 3ds Max, and all of a sudden, while I was uh, doing some uh, special techniques in in Max, uh, all of a sudden I realized that hey, this is something that might look like clang cola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, that was actually fun. And then I uh, just posted this uh, this image on my Facebook account, and it was very warmly received. Like super warmly received thank you everybody who, uh, who who've seen it who liked it who shared it and it was shared a lot of times really thanks a lot uh yeah and that uh, and after that we actually thought that hey why not put it put it in into game actually because it looks good it looks uh, the way it should probably yeah and actually uh on one on one of those uh, screenshots you could see that 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 was the first iteration actually yeah this was the the first iteration we're, and I remember that uh, one of our, uh, I think it was programmers. I, I think it was Sandra or it was Jochen. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Say it was a bit too. Uh, uh, it was yeah. It was uh, too overly complicated and super expensive. So well, it doesn't look like something you drink. You'd want to drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it would not something you want to kick back and open a cold one at the end of the day. You yeah. know? It's not, not that kind of. Yeah, but but then you kind of turn it down a bit and have like a little yeah. Like, so uh, I, rubber. I kind of kind of simplified it just a little bit, yeah. so it's more simple, more but but still clangy, you know, with the, which is very important. <laughs> <laughs> so you can clang the shit out of it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so uh, yeah, so our programmer uh, said that hey, I think this uh, this cola can, this clang cola can might might be just more expensive uh, than the whole vending machine. Yeah. So why 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 wouldn't you just a little bit? <laughs> maybe it would be a good idea to just simplify. It. Yeah. So I just simplified it a little bit, and that's what I ended up with. So here's uh, our iconic clang cola. And if you will pay attention uh, to, the, to the to the to those writings there. Yeah, you will probably find it even more entertaining. And it, it, yes, and it also when you buy it, it also will dispense from the uh, the machine at great speeds. Uh, so I'll notice. I, I yeah. don't actually know if that's by design, but enjoy it while it's still there because you can actually you can actually weaponize them as of right now. Yeah. Uh, the, the the kind of the coffee comes out at like a good old like you know 
kind of trickles out. But the the Clan Cola will shoot out at like 100 meters per second. <laughs> so it's uh, right now if you jump in the game and use it, it's pretty it's pretty pretty deadly. That Clan Cola. I just see some, in terms of questions guys, there's a lot of stuff in chat and obviously we've got stuff to go through so there'll be time for questions either later on this stream or I'll try and answer some questions later on tonight. So um, I realise there's a lot of uh, opinions and thoughts and feelings and questions but it's hard to go through them all right now so if you're, if you're patient with it I will get to them eventually okay so thank you very much guys for that patience. Um, I realise there's, you know, it's always the yeah, same of an yeah, update yeah, day, it's yeah, like, oh, what's going on, you know, so yeah I'll try and get to it later. Right, so yeah, this was the Clan Cola, and yeah. now we'll just go through some of like some of the, uh, you know, a, an example of des designing one of the new blocks, for example. Right, so let's get these yeah. up here. So I think this will be a window wall. Yes. Yeah. So we can start with with just the the, the first one, and uh, this is just to show you guys our our oh, whoa, standard our standard routine our workflow. Uh, like if if you can see. Like the whole picture now. This is the very, very, oh, big very start. This is the very uh, first step of us sketching stuff. So uh, as you can see, <laughs> this is very loose. <laughs> this is super blocky. This is super rough. And uh, but th you know, this is very important to 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 nail the idea. To to not lose the moment of inspiration while you you're working on that kind of stuff. So first, it always starts with something like this. Yeah. Something very loose. And when you just uh, nail the, the the main idea then you proceed to something else for and, and for example uh, if you would go to the next image you would you would see that this, this very loose image eventually transforms into something like like I think it's is it gonna go how many seconds is it on oh uh, see here there it is something like this yeah yes. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the the exterior view, which is also kind of uh, simplified, but already here, as you can see, it was uh, already kind kind of shaped up a bit. And the next one, okay, and in, the, in the next one, you will see that using it, the OBS. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Actually, in that case, I'll just do it manually then. I probably you can just import them all. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we can yeah, go through. That, that's, that's easiest for me. Yeah, that's, that's easiest. Totally that we'll just go through them one at a yeah, time. Yeah, that, that, so that. after this one, we'll go mm -hmm. through. Then it should be going yeah. like ten seconds on each. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So this is the first stage. We're just throwing ideas very quickly, very roughly. And this is the second stage where it gets uh, to some uh, uh, shape. Start starting to to take some shape. We're uh, well, discussing about the, the forms and shapes. Ah, this is yeah. And here, for example, here it was um, it was a very rough idea, which was a paint over. I was just painting over the the very rough and simplistic three D model, mm -hmm. which was just basically just a few polygons uh, stretched here and there. And when was it decided know? to make it modular to make it a three part so you could have any? Length? Yeah, that's a very good question. Actually, like, initially uh, we we didn't plan that. It, it was, was it was planned just just a, a two by one block. It was probably Aragath, probably he probably so I can imagine he would have. Put well, well in. I can say that it was actually. Even me, you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can come and, and, and say hello. <laughs> say hello. Where's the camera? There. Okay. Hey, you guys can say hold, hi oh. to Olga. Hi. Hello. hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy the update? Let's see. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> You're saying yes. You, 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 we can we can do like a happiness rating out of ten. There you go. That's pretty easy. It's like, how are you feeling right now, guys? Just in general, in uh, out of ten, to give Olga an idea. Be honest now. It's all right. It's all right. Cool. cool. <laughs> Where can I see you? Here. There. Yeah. See the oh, note. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So hello. Yes, we did. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Who cool. says eight out of ten? <laughs> Yes, 10 out of 10 is the right answer. Okay, great. You mean great, you need great, their great. addresses? Or, or I can get their addresses <laughs> actually really quickly. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye, bye. And actually, we've, right. actually see you. we've got this picture coming up of some of the other concepts. I think it was the yep. the, not the, juke, the jukebox is there, but also mm -hmm. the, the small control seat. Yeah, the, 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 the small control seat. is It's also very loose, very... Uh, well, because you know, it's it kind of ah oh, yeah. I think I didn't finish my phrase about that we uh, win the block. So yeah, it was even my idea, you know, partially. Yeah. So because it it, it um, became very obvious at some point that people would love to have this uh, uh, modular in a modular way, yeah. so that they can build these you know long lines of windows, which is very cool. Uh, yeah. And regarding that um, 
open uh, cockpit seat. It it was, you know, it depends on the block. Some some blocks really require some dense sketches, some nice um, like um, directions how to build them, how to do them. But sometimes you just uh, jump right on them, and and it and it um, uh, turns out to be very very good in the end. So uh, probably with the cockpit seat, I remember that I just uh, did this uh, very rough uh, sketch on top of what uh, uh, Honza did. Uh, our our very talented yeah. artist Honza Golmich. Uh, yeah, so I just did a few paint overs here and there, and in the end, it turned out to be very good. Which I'm, I'm very happy with the with the current look of uh, small uh, open cockpit. Yeah, and uh, modularity is something that I know that everyone yeah, appreciates. Yeah, yeah, that's that's so cool. You can rotate each uh, each of the 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 left one and the right one. Is... You can just rotate them to have them like in a very nice nice way. So what we'll do is nanotique. We're going to show off some of your stuff in game, I think, because we already went through all the screenshots. So let's yeah. so we, let's let's jump into Smoky's scenario here. Yeah. So guys, it's game time. Yeah. So when you first you know load the game, you'll notice you, if you you have all the six badges here now that, in total, and this is the and this is the you designed this didn't teak. This yes. is yes. the Deco Pack One, the Deco Pack Two, kind of sharing some similar things, but then <laughs> having this different outline there. So yes. There's that. Yeah. So um, we get a new game, and we'll be greeted with Lost Colony. And you can see this is uh, this is uh, uh, Smoky here, and you can have offline. And contact has been lost with a remote colony, and it's your job to find out what happened. With up to four players, embark on an exciting journey through caves and mysterious underground bunkers while exploring the valley and its history via data pads left behind by the colonies. And I already saw some. Has anyone actually jumped in and actually checked out the scenario yet? I saw some people. I saw a couple of comments that are saying like, "Wow, this scenario, this scenario is amazing," and so on. So. Um, yeah, let's jump in. All right, you guys. So it was uh, nice seeing you all. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah, dash yeah, off, I'm, I'm going. You? I'm going to fly to my, oh, to, okay. to my lovely right, wife and well, kids. <laughs> thank you so much, Nati. Thank yeah, you thank for you. your fantastic work thank on this uh, bye -bye. awesome art. And uh, see you later, man. Bye bye. All right, guys. Yeah, we're gonna just go through this a little bit, and I'll try and answer some questions as well. Now, as I'm sure I'm not the best at multitasking, but I'm gonna try and show you showcase some of the stuff and the scenario here. And while well, also answering your questions, but also I know lots of uh, there's lots of uh, community members who are kind of more uh, have got some knowledge of the update and what's going on. So feel free, guys, to help me out telling peeps about this, all this stuff, and answering questions. The other thing is, uh, as with the last update, it's possible to uh, you know it's possible to use the even if you don't own the DLC, you can interact with all the blocks anyway because you'll find in this scenario there actually are um, a number of blocks in that. So we've got two new vehicles here um, and they're featuring the, the battered skin and remember all the damage skin and you have to remember that the, uh, the damage skin is actually um, both the damage and the rusty skin are free for all players so you can check that out. This is also with the, the new open seat here so it's called Sunset Valley and you'll see why in just a little bit so we can head off here see the new so all this is usable by all people right that's the main thing nope the skins uh, the new skins are available for everyone it's part of the free update And LCD is a small, uh, a small grid as well. So I've seen some people using transparent LCDs as small grid windows. Uh, I shouldn't be highlighting that probably because in terms of when it comes to PCU, it's not the, uh, it's not particularly performance friendly. But if you want to use transparent window uh, LCDs as windows on small grids, then <laughs> you have been notified. Hello. Hi. Joe. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> and uh, have, have you seen the new blocks have you been amazing right really amazing yes I'm always very proud of the team here we go and the sun's rising here Olga because this is this is called Sunset mm. Valley so as we drive here yes. we can see that the sun is kind of coming over the the peaks of the mountains and any minute here it will be daytime it's just so beautiful Here we go. So there's a safe zone around the main area here. 
why is it called Sunset Valley? Like, is there any because other, like it, like aside from the obvious? I don't know fact? actually. I, I'm not sure. Smoky, Smoky made it. Smoky in chat. Oh, Smoky, why did you uh, name it Sunset Valley? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a little look around here. Okay, I'm not going to play through the story in it because I'll let that for you guys. I'm just going to show off some of the interiors. You know, you see some of the the new grated stairs and the grated catwalk. This is awesome. This is like an alien, you know, like you can imagine you know, something happening there. I mean, in terms of level design, the, the new the new blocks have really allowed. This is amazing. And with the wood as well, like it's mm -hmm, all kind of coming mm -hmm. together now with a lot of the, the stuff when it comes to more diverse designs here so yeah, I can imagine the here comes sound the sun makes when you when you run up these stairs oh the oh that kind of clanging yes, yes like yes. clattering sounds there we go oh my god it's just nice to sit around and watch the sunset is what uh smocky says so there we go it's beautiful Fair isn't enough. it sun yeah. sun's coming up so we've got a couple of buildings here i'll tell you where we'll start okay so what have we got here no spoilers mm. <laughs> Freddy's Bar and Nightclub. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so we got some drinks here. We can got the Zokito. Oh. The uh, Clango Libre. Marek's Vision. Oh. See some Zog Boss in the chat. Reactor Leak. Pina oh. Aragathina. Oh. Django 3. <laughs> so oh a couple goodness, of a couple so of cute. couple of nods there. So thank oh. you, Smoky, for my uh, my very own drink there. Weekly update. <laughs> <laughs> And we actually come in here and we can see uh, some of the uh, the new vending machine, right? Tank cola, oh my gosh. So if we actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step back here because if we actually purchase a clan cola, we can, you know, we can flick through it here. Cosmic coffee, clan cola. Oh. You'll notice something quite dangerous, I think. Ah, oh, typical. <laughs> my story of my life. So we're gonna have to hack us some money. <laughs> I wish this was part. <laughs> all right, hold on. Just, Happens just, to me all the time. Yeah, Joe, right, okay. Life, yeah. <laughs> you know, press the card. And, ah. I know, it's yeah. this dilemma. Let's mm -hmm. see here. All right. Where'd it go? It probably f shot out somewhere. Oh, we'll change the cosmic coffee then. There we go. <gasps> Pick up some... Cosmic Coffee, which is now in our inventory here. And we can consume this for a health boost, so, yeah. All right then, so now, this is the upstairs, and you can probably, can you, can you guys hear some music? Now we have the jukebox. We can start the party lights. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's okay. We go. There it is. There's the music. <laughs> I don't remember. He, Smoky had to change it because initially the music was on a sensor, so when you turned up, it would start playing this music. But now it's actually a manual activated uh, music thing here. Julian so and everyone, I gotta go. Are oh, you gonna dash? All right, thank you for stopping by, Olga. It's been great to You're have you very on. Welcome. So yeah. give it a little wave to Olga, guys. She's off. You off home now, are you? Yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Fantastic. You too. Thanks Enjoy. for joining us. Bye. All right. There we go. I'll oh, see you, Marek. Have a good one. Good night. All right, then. So, yeah, this is the... Uh, so, we can skip tracks, pause it. See, so you got speakers on the side. Now... If I hop into this, you see how it works. It's the same as a sound block, volume range, and you can now add to the playlist the songs. Now we have all the sounds, but now we have so many. We have car music, mystery music, build music, space music, light fight music, heavy fight music, danger music, earth like planet, alien, and at the end, the very end, fun music. So you can pick a bunch of the SC soundtrack tracks now, but of course this is possible to mod that. So you can actually have whatever thing, whatever you want in there, um, if you choose so. But again, as you're seeing here, some of the level design from Smoky when it comes to design this like uh, nightclub here. But this is just this is just part of the this is kind of the nicer areas here. But of course, we can kind of start going to some more. Uh, there's there's plenty. I'm not going to do all the secrets now, but let me tell you, 
there's a lot of stuff out there. Like, just when you think you found, oh, I've done the, I've just done the voiceover. But really, just when you think you found it all, you'll find a new area to discover. So let's let's go through here. We have got a store. You see some of the the transparent LCDs in action there. So the store block. And let's see what else we can find. I want to see if I can get to the. Um... Okay, so some doors are locked, right? Garage, awful nice person. So here we can see the grated catwalks and uh, grated stairs. Medical room. Maybe we can find the. Looking for the. I don't even know my way around this, so I'm kind of guessing. Intense care ward, recovery ward. So we've got the. Oh, here we go. So we've got some. We've got a shower there and the med bay, and the new medical scanners. Here, I believe they act. You can obviously customize the screens, so you can actually both on the live display there and the keyboard. You can show custom stuff. You can't interact with the uh, the medical scanners right now. I mean, maybe that's something that could be added. That they could be acted the same as a med bay or the or a bed or something. But they definitely are awesome looking blocks. Oh, I can activate the spawn here. I guess that's good. The recovery wards, and here we see the really really cool way where Smoky actually uses this. Um, these catwalks as, as as fences or as like uh, kind of uh, vents. It's really, really nice stuff here. And you've also got those new windows, those modular window walls, so we can actually go in here. And this is actually a shot from the trailer where I came from behind this, kind of looking into this uh, room, so. And underneath, you can see there's actually vents beneath where I'm walking. And let's see if we can carry on figuring out observation. Okay, let's uh, come out of here. That's the that's an armory. Let's get back to the central stairwell, maybe. Keep going down, go deeper. I mean, the first checkpoint you have is search for Hiroko Zhang. So that's that's the first mission. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'll let you guys go ahead and do that right now if, if you know if you want to get stuck in. I will play for it probably on stream uh, this weekend at some point. I'm going to be uh, streaming a bunch, you bet. Oh, here we go then. So we're again seeing some of the awesome use of these new catwalks. I, I, I had to do a shot in the trailer with this particular scene because it's all just happening. You've got the, the catwalks on the wall, you've got the transparent LCDs and I feel like, is this even SE, you know? Like when it comes to the feel of it, it's absolutely bonkers how cool this feels. Um, right, lockdown active. All right, so okay, let's see. Okay, we can't get in there. We've got some damage going on. Okay, quarantine in effect. Request access and research. For example, exactly, so in this scenario, you have no jetpack. You, there's, a, there's a number of things to force you to, you know, like or like that you have to play this the way it was designed to be played in the scenario, right? And obviously you can hack it if you really don't, can't be bothered, but the idea is it's been set up in a certain way to play through and to follow the story, right? So, of course, if I want to get access to that, I have to find another room to unlock the access to it. So you can kind of see how um, all this comes together here. That's the cryo room there. Oh, I can't get access to it yet. Okay, that's the... Right, let's go downstairs. I don't... Uh, oh, okay. I'm on the I'm on the bottom floor now. I think. Now this is this is where I was. Uh, this is the new lab equipment. So again, just a, a, a visual block, but using the same technique. How you can again change anything. You can put you can put memes on there, whatever you want, on the LCD panels, both the large display and the keyboard. Probably just wheel this off. The webcam was designed for two people, so it's probably kind of excessively wide now, but there you go. So again, as of now, it's it, it, again, it just looks cool. And thanks Pete, for people who are, who are answering questions in the chat. Because again, I'm, I'm kind of just playing through this a bit here, but I appreciate all the help from both the moderators and community 
for answering any questions that the, the chat has. Um, how do I get back to the... I'm lost a little. Oh, I've got to go upstairs, haven't I? I'm on the bottom floor. Now I've got to get back to the main... Uh... Hold on a minute. Ah, this way. But, like, it's it's just nuts that that what Smocky did with this. I just can't get over that. You wait until we find the... I don't know. I, I want to say it, but I'm not sure if I should, yeah, really reveal all the surprises. But really, there's... Let's go upstairs. You can see some of the window walls in effect. Uh, maybe I should play this on stream tonight with uh, some peeps in the community. Do like a four-player playthrough. Because obviously, once you play through it, the secrets will be out, so to speak. So the, the first time is obviously going to be the, the coolest time. What happened here? Where is everybody? Got the police officers. Okay. Marcus Kraus. Secure archives, but authorized personnel. There are some places to find if you read and explore data pads. Right, exactly. So there's that's what I'm saying. There's there's certain areas which you'll only find if you use if you find the data pads for it. Okay, got like a Smoky did great using the, the very the varied skins we have now. Like both the, the wood skins and all the all that jazz to get a different vibe in here. I'll, I'll leave this building now. We'll head out, back outside. See what else we can find. I've got like a dried up pool. Even here, just like using the, the moss skin to kind of have that outdoor swimming pool dried up kind of vibe. <laughs> As you do. These people had it good here. What can I say? This is Agnes. Okay. Let's run down here. I know so I know something cool. I was oh hello. Another locked up. Okay. Archie's pants shop. Okay, let's see. Ah, waste treatment facility. Gearing up. Oh, the floor's all dirty. That is lovely down there. Maintenance access. Sewer access. Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man, this is so crazy. This is grim. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Fred. <laughs> Am I lost now? Hold on. Did I come in this way? No. Oh. Oh, there's some hidden room in here. It's locked again. Where are the head crabs? So I'm talking about though, it's just like I when I, I knew Smokey was making a scenario for us, there was I expected certain things, but I did not expect this kind of uh, change in vibe, right? That you've got everything, you got the you got the you go from the sewers to a nightclub. That's that's just the kind of the diversity that you'll find in this in this map now. It's it really is crazy so again i'm not gonna i'm just giving you little teasers of certain areas and of course there there's way more extensive extensive stuff to discover let me just go over here what have we got saris fine dining oh five star okay i see why nice view okay got the what have we got on the menu Spaghetti Interstellar, Jupiter Roast, 
Delicious. I even love the alleyways. Like, I love what Smoggy did with these catwalks now. To, you know, on their side as fences here. Like, this, this is a super cool... That's not so... A bit grisly. And the new freight blocks, of course. Part of the pack. Kind of have this, kind of give this alleyway feel. Pretty good. I like how the city showcase a variety of themes you can create in SC now. Right. That's the thing, isn't it? You, it's, there's so many... So if you come over to this... You can see the freight, it actually has uh, 3,000 litres, so you can store things in this freight, or hide things in these freights. Obviously there's no conveyor access, but in terms of placing your, on your ship as... I mean, to be honest with you, some people want, you know, inventories that are separate from the main, uh, you know, ship inventory. So it it's actually works out quite well. And I'll try, in just a, in just a little sec guys, I'll go full focus on some questions for a bit um, now that we've done a bit of showcase here let's go into the apartments this is the apartment complex this is very nice again those uh, new window walls really make things feel cozy Uh, and as always, guys, the, the, the guys worked really hard testing this and uh, making sure it was as bug-free as possible. But I did see some comments in chat that there were some crashes. Um, you know, as soon as it still goes out to some other hardware and a, and a wider base, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it happens, you know, we find uh, more issues. So you can expect there will be a hot fix in the coming days for those, those major crashes that you might come across. So thank you for your, your patience. And... Uh, Definitely, please report anything, any strange things. I mean, there's a lot of blocks now. If we come in here, we go to decorative blocks too. This is these are all the new, uh, the decorative pack number two pack. I can really see how there's we have the the railings, uh, different sh ones. Let's get the windows out. Let's get the actual window design. Where is that now? I was looking for the plus icon, but I guess I'll have to get all three out. Just to kind of show you guys quickly here how you can uh, hack the game a little bit. Because right now I think creator mode is turned off. So, here you have window left. There you have window right. And they clip together like that, and you have window. But of course, with this modular design, you have the ability to take this off. Now we can add the center section in. And we can just keep going and going. Now we have a much longer window. So for the sides of ships and so on, it's going to be very nice indeed. Right, I'm gonna bring the sun back up. Let me sh let me showcase. Uh, oh, I need the jetpack, but the jetpack's disabled here. Um, I want to sort of showcase the new uh, the new skins, which are free in the update. So let's just there's a house here. I'm not gonna look inside it. I'm just gonna take ownership of this house, um, so I can paint it. Oh, I need to hack it again. These are terminals. Right. Everything and me. So let's let's just paint this new thing with the, the, the battered skin. I can see here in the windows is skylights, interestingly enough. So we can see this transformation. If I bring up this, select the battered paint, turn off the painting. Now if I do all of it. There we go. This is the new 
Was it, what, what is it actually called? Is it damaged or battered? It is. It is battered. I, I can, the name kept changing. I think internally, but for like industrial, for like mining ships, I love this skin so much. It just looks so like uh, roughed up, and it kind of makes the color kind of uh, it, it kind of desaturates the color a little bit. But you've got the kind of rivet design here with some metallic sheen across it. But for any kind of mining vessels or cargo ships and stuff like this, it's a really, really uh, damaged and uh, different vibe. You know, especially if we go here. If, let's say, let's say we go from like the the clean armor, right? Not a not a, a single mark on it. You know, that's that's the the, com the complete opposite. So you can really have clean armor. To battered armor and yeah this is gonna be perfect and this is uh, available for all the second skin available for all is the rusty armor once again it's uh, colorable so you come in here do that and there you go and what I love about this is not just the actual rust it's also the chipping of the paint, you know, chipping of the paint and this kind of uh, effect you get where it's being eaten away at by the rust. So you really can get those. When it comes to making things uh, more abandoned, you really can get a nice vibe going on here. So there we go. And there's again, another, this, is, this is part of the free update. So every player, regardless of any DLCs you have or don't have, will be get have access to this skin so yeah it's great to be able to see so there'll be there'll be some more diversity there rust i mean of course now you could say like, we need like uh rotten wood or whatever but uh, uh still my favorite is is battered because battered's not just like battered's a whole new style it's cool battered, but actually, if you look at it, the way the paneling is and the rivets and stuff, it's almost like a completely different art style. But I love it. That's the <laughs> I mean, let's let's think here. Let me find. I want to get like the yellow. I wonder if I got the lifeboat still. Like like lifeboat. Uh, what's it called? Respawn ship. Ah, I need something that's yellow because I. I want like the kind of constr oh, like a digger. No. Um. I don't know what, let's have a flick through. Find something that will look really good on. Like something industrial. And maybe it's got it now. Lifeboat. No. Respawn. Ah. Okay. Let's just use this then. This is something. It's just like a drop ship, but I think it will look quite cool. So again, if we take this and we'll straight off apply the battered texture to it and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, let's let's make it even more. I don't know what the color is like on this. I need to. Oh no, that will change. Hold on, uh, I'll change the whole thing, but I guess it's okay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so cool. It's probably a bit too. It's probably a bit too decent. Well, I don't know. It depends how old you want. It's kind of a little more tan now. If we go more orangey, and then bring up the saturation, but then bring down the darkness. Maybe now, because it obviously applies. Oh, that's a bit too much. Steampunky almost, right? Yeah. Orky. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's just flip it on the with the rusty armor as well. See some rust on there. 
Look at that, like the way it's like really. And there might be some bugs with the new textures, guys, as well. Like it's there's a lot of combinations that you can and a lot of colors. So again, any bugs that you find or, or weird things, please do report them. I think like here I've noticed this, this seems to be one of the the masks isn't quite lining up with those two by ones with the main armor blocks there. So that's something we need to look at. So yeah, really tasty armor. Jesse, should I show the other armor? Because I think it's out there. I think the guys I'm I'm saying I'm kind of giving you some you know technically Zoc leaks here, but I think the other armor, you know the one I'm talking about, went out today. Is that right, guys? And if that's so, Jesse, I don't know if we should just like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I f people do know about it. Yes, it went out today. I think there was a, there was a, there was a slip out there. So uh, we had a surprise for you. We had a surprise for you guys. And tomorrow we're going to be doing a Halloween stream. Okay. Um. But as part of that Halloween. Uh, event, which we'll talk more about tomorrow. Cow mouflage armor has also been added to the game for everyone for free. And this was going to be added tomorrow or unlocked tomorrow as a separate event, but you actually have three new skins, and that is right, cow mouflage, spelt exactly like that. So let's of course get black and white for this to start off with, and see how we're looking. So let's paint this ship with some, and there you have it. <laughs> it even has a furry texture to it. So this is the camouflage, and it really is, it's kind of themed by the uh, the cow skin, and it was kind of, you know, you know, for Halloween you have uh, some dress up, so to speak. So we've got, we've got a couple of surprises for Halloween this year. It's the first time I think really, well no, it's not quite the first time, but one of the only times that we're doing, we've done like a kind of a holiday event. And uh, this was going to be unveiled tomorrow. Uh, but again, the cat's out the bag because I think the guys added it prematurely. But of course it is also colorable. So if you would like to have, let's say, blue cow. That is also available to you and you can kind of see the... Furry, slightly glossy texture applied. <laughs> and the this the skin screen is now filling up very nicely again. So, so as part of the base game for everyone, uh, regardless of DLC, you now have the battered armor, the clean armor, the camouflage, um, the rusty armor, and the default kind of slightly used armor. So you have five skins now, just in the base game. Then of course, with the uh, the economy, you get the disco and the glamour and the silver. The style, you get the digital camouflage, the wood, the moss and the carbon fiber. And the uh, deluxe edition gets you the golden armor. So you can kind of see how this, this, this kind of screen's filling up now, but um, surprise, cow. <laughs> So, I, I should probably put the cow suit on as well, right, to kind of, uh... What else should I try here? What if it, what about if it feel like a grey cow? Let's put the saturation down and have like a grey... Like, maybe you can make this more military style... Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. Go way down. Oh, you can kind of see the preview. You can't actually make it black, like, it's like... That's the darkest you get, apparently, as of right now. But if, what if I make it like, uh, you know, like olive or like khaki, you know, like, uh, let's see here. Uh, try and do this. Try and make it like desert camo kind of thing. Maybe. Ah, that's not too bad. Miss a bit. Turn that saturation down with the darkness. Let's try this. Oh, it's oh okay, so the brightness slider changes how dark the the spots are. Okay. Oh, I see now. So maybe you guys can use it 
as actually camouflaged. Like, it's supposed to be more of a fun skin, like all the skins we have are kind of, there's some kind of uh, material type or something. Whereas this one kind of falls into the, the more fun category, because we don't have, uh, you know, like the, the, the character skins are kind of varying from like more serious stuff to kind of more uh, silly ones. And this is kind of the, the first kind of silly one, uh, you know, so to speak. But uh, I think with the right shading, you can probably use this very nicely as well. Um, in more serious ways as well, so there you go. That's three new skins for the whole player base for free. What does the Rusty look like? I'll show the Rusty again. There we go. Oh, that's a... I kind of love the... It's really, for me, it's just the, the, the chip, the paint, the, the chips and the paint even more so than just the actual rust itself. Okay then, guys. Um, Jesse, we can kind of announce that now for people who are here. So uh, I think tomorrow night there'll be an official live stream, a Halloween special, and that will, I'm assuming again, it's 5 p.m. UTC. And I'll be joined by Jesse, in fact, on stream tomorrow. And we're gonna, yeah, just have a bit of fun. And there'll be uh, some surprises for you. So that'll be tomorrow's stream as well. Uh, you should have access to Cowskin now. I was, I was turned, I was told that actually uh, everyone has access to the Cowskin. The cow again. The Cowskin was supposed to be a secret, um, and it, it just happened that it, it so it felt the same time as the. Um, you know this release but actually we, we plan to have you know the sixth anniversary stuff and then the halloween stuff but it just turns out that we were going to do it tomorrow as well so right then guys so i've done gone through a bunch of the new things here uh you know the new what would you guys like to see now Obviously the scenario I'm not going to play through right now. I need to quickly pop to the bathroom. Unfortunately there's no one else here to kind of cover for me. So, but I, I need to dash. So I'll leave you with a trailer actually while I'm away and I'll come back and then we can go through some questions maybe because I haven't answered any questions. I'll, I'm going to... What time is it? Seven. Yeah, I will also go home soonish, grab some food and I'll be streaming later uh, on my channel as well. So if you, if you haven't got your questions answered right now, I'll be up all night as I normally am answering your questions also. So, you know, if you're gonna, if you uh, have a question and it's you've been waiting for hours, I will definitely get to it. But normally or with these streams, by the end of the night, I've answered everyone's question who are still hanging around. So if you're patient with me, I'll get to it, I promise. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of do some official quick Q and A right now and go for anything else I've missed. Uh, yeah, so my channel is just there in the chat there. So you can, uh, Check that out. Right. And uh, have some questions ready right now. Uh, and I'll play the trailer. And when we get back in a minute, we'll go over some final things. I think I've showcased all the stuff in the update. So, uh, like, the major obvious stuff. And then we'll see. So, um. all right, guys. Be right back. Will it ever stop? Our need to create. We don't think so. And just when you think you've seen it all, we discover a whole new world to explore. Wherever adversity exists, there's a space engineer who yearns to overcome it. Whenever someone says it's not possible, we prove them wrong. With every new challenge we face, we find the right tool to help us prevail against all odds. If complications arise from pushing technology to its limits, we strive to find solutions. A world filled with choices 
while working amongst the stars. A place filled with music for you and your fellow engineers. Somewhere that's full of endless possibilities. Where science and creativity fuse into the technology of tomorrow. Spaces dedicated to rejuvenation and relaxation. Areas dedicated to viewing the known and that which lies beyond. Stations that provide the best medical care for you and your comrades. Locations for analyzing data which can mean the difference between life and death. Situations where the right features can result in something truly special. Sites that have been built with both functionality and beauty in mind. Venues that are safe and stylish. Creations that are equipped to deal with any situation. Communities that are teeming with engineers and resources from across the galaxy. Will our need to create ever stop? Absolutely not. Introducing decorative pack number two. Unleash your need to create. All right, I made it back just in time. Actually, and uh, I was reminded by uh, Blitz, we have one more video to show you. It's uh, to celebrate the sixth anniversary of Space Engineers. We reached out to some of our content creators to submit some uh, footage of their favorite moments uh, over the years. So we'll, we'll play that. Uh, do you want to play that now, uh, Blitz? Or shall I do some questions and then wrap it up and then play at the very end? What do you think? I'm open. <laughs> Now? Hey, all right, I'll, I'll, go, I'll grab a drink then as well. So that gives me some time to grab a drink. So, um, <laughs> I ran, Blue Bob, I uh, sprinted to the toilet. <laughs> okay, so uh, enjoy this compilation, guys, uh, from our community. And I'll be back in around, it's, it's around five minutes, this video, so. And here we go. Hello, engineers. Thanks for an awesome six years, and I'm sure we'll enjoy Space Engineers for many years to come. And now, I would like to share some of the community's favorite moments playing Space Engineers with you. Alright, looks like it's all clear. Ow! What the... Oh, I'm taking fire. Oh, it lost an arm. Okay, be careful. Oh, I see a control station. Oh! Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably put some railings in, I guess. That might be a good idea. What the? Uh, what? Help? <laughs> What's wrong? Um, oh, <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Something has gone all in for a Palpatine in here. Shield has overloaded. Restarting in 20 seconds. Whoa! Yeah, there that's it goes. what keeps happening. Okay. I took it down. Oh, no, that's the ground. Oh, that was very close to the ground. Oh my gosh, it's squishing the roller cord with a shield! <laughs> <laughs> Timber! Wait, was that? Timber! That was on to the rover, guys. Hey, so oh no, 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 no! no. <gasps> what? Whoa, what? Close it, close it, close what? it, close it! I, I hit the wrong button! Hey guys, 
I'm Morphologist, a content creator on YouTube. About five years ago, a friend of mine introduced me to a little indie game that let you build things in space. At first, I was reluctant to actually try it because I wasn't really that into building games. But the moment I laid my first block, I fell in love. And it might be a strange thing to say, but it changed the trajectory of my life. I went on to meet some great people and create a survival series that became one of the most popular survival series on YouTube for Space Engineers, and a little character called Potatoes. Launching my little hobby, I guess you could say, <laughs> into orbit. I wouldn't be where I am today without Keen Software House or the great people that I met along the way. So thank you guys, and of course, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Hey all, Captain Jack here, and happy 6th anniversary to Space Engineers. I think one of the most amazing things about Space Engineers for me is the ability to express your creativity through not only building, but also battling out creations. The ground targets my sector. Ramming speed! My favourite memories from the game are battling out creations with friends in epic and giant battles in space and on the ground and on planets, it's just amazing. Hello, my name is Rabenschild and for Space Engineer's 6th birthday, Keen asked me to talk about my most memorable moments, but I'm doing this for five over way over five years now and it's hard to find the memorable moments then but what i can say is the best things in space engineers for me is always starting something new finding a solution for something that i want to solve and i have to say one big thing is the people i met along the way um great great people that some of them i interact daily with and I have a lot of fun with. Yeah, Space Engineers, thanks for six great years and happy birthday. I bought Space Engineers way back in 2014, but I didn't really start playing it until the planet update came out. I don't know, something about starting with nothing and escaping the planet to explore the solar system really appealed to me. I've got some pretty good memories playing with friends, trying to figure out how stuff in the game worked, flipping rovers and crashing ships. Of course, it wasn't long after that before I started trying alternate methods of doing stuff. The planet updates was set all that into motion, and that's why it's my favorite Space Engineers update so far. But I'm not going to lie, some of those new paint skins look nice. Greetings, I'm Epic Titus. And I'm Cosmic Chimp, and together we're Cosmically Epic. Hey, we just wanted to get together and say congratulations, Keen Software House, on their sixth anniversary of Space Engineers. Because of this amazing game, we became friends. Cosmic and I started playing just the two of us, and then eventually decided to make our own little series called Cosmically Epic. I don't know of any other game that gives you as much flexibility to just build whatever crazy contraption you want. Like a space elevator from the planet <laughs> to an asteroid. Yeah, or a flying banana. Just inspires me to build more and better contraptions from mining to flying in space. And we really appreciate the work that Keen has put into it. So once again, congratulations Keen on six years. Congratulations. Enjoy. And thank you guys for making the game that brought us together. And as always, stay safe. And I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. Let's do this. We just need to raise up, raise up, raise up, and then we need to come back a bit. There's the connector. I can see it. I just need to hover towards it. The bad part is my my dampeners aren't working. I have to like manually dampen this. That's why it's so bloody annoying. Tapping it and tapping it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got it. Oh, it's connected. It's janky as shit, but it's connected. But I think we'd had a very successful... <gasps> My ejectors. No. Okay. Um, five. Stop ejecting. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so stupid. Ah, it wouldn't be me unless I screwed something up, right?
and away we go. And there you go, guys. How cool is that? How cool is that compilation? And then again, finishing there on that amazing Domino's bonus from Splitzy, revealing the SE logo. I mean, I wonder what cinema speed that was at and what he like sped up the footage to. But still, that's some serious dedication to get all the <laughs> to get all that stuff lined up in that way. Amazing. So many thanks to all of the creators who submitted their compilations there really we, we reached out to many so again there's many more out there as well uh, i'm sure you have some names on the top of your heads uh, we reached out to many not all of them got back to us or got back to us in time so um the creators that we see there uh they were boom keen to get in on that so thank you so much to all those people and to, yeah and but to, to everyone um who who has created content and it's not just video content we shouldn't point out that it's also um anything from a blueprint to to mods uh, to server hosting like there's, there's so many ways that people uh, you know contribute to the community and make it what it is today uh, it's easy of course to showcase the videos because those guys make videos so putting it together is the is the is an easy way to do it but of course there is so much uh, it's six years I, I'm lost of words the community um, is what makes Space Engineer is so special, quite honestly. It's, 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 a, it's a truly unique, uh, I always said unique beast, but it's a unique thing, you know. And some of you guys have been here from the start, some of you have been here for maybe a couple of weeks, but it's, it really is uh, an amazing um, thing that it's, it's, it's become. Uh, was, there a, was there a mistake, Nebarine? I have to keep, I have to see about that. Um, let's see. <laughs> All right then. But in that case, we'll take the time to answer some questions. Again, I'm gonna try and uh, uh, answer some. Uh, I'm not sure where I should play the game at the same time. Uh, also, you know, you saw in the trailer there, like, I was going for the new skins, but we, we, the small ship ladders now, so you can now put grids, uh, small ship uh, ladders on small grids as well. That was another uh, thing from the trailer which I didn't showcase in the game yet, but that's a, another cool addition. Yeah, we, we combined blocks to make, we, there has been some changes to the G screen, and I think it will take some, definitely will need some feedback an adjustment because obviously everyone gets used to the, the, the G screen after a while but um, there was a change to that um, G screen so let us know how you find it um, it was you know there was a lot of thought put into it but I get it if um, you know I get it if if it's not uh, if, if it takes some adjustment first JB thank you very much let's see here then if I can pull some questions out in terms of features of Xbox, I cannot confirm with the night what will be and what not be there. It's still a matter of figuring out. And obviously today's in the first stage and getting the um, kind of releasing something from Xbox, which is the new controller support from Xbox, which is on the PC version, and the optimizations that have been done for Xbox, which are now also on the PC version. But in terms of what will be on the Xbox and what not, I cannot say right now. There's still a lot of testing going on. And just a reminder to you guys to sign up. If you want to be a tester for Xbox, please do contact info at Keen Software House. 
if you have an Xbox and you'd like to be involved in that testing. Um, okay, there's a lot of questions. Thank you, Lord Rafe. Appreciate your kind words. I'm seeing some lots of really nice uh, comments about uh, just anniversary. So I appreciate those guys. Thank you for sticking with us. Will there be Space Engineers too? We haven't uh, announced anything and we're not working. We're still focused on SE1 right now. Uh, Marek touched on future projects, what he would like to see, what he'd like to do. But uh, I, can't, I cannot say um, if there will be for sure, but it's definitely in all of our minds. Uh, Men again, I met it, left, met it. <laughs> cool, B Blob. The way. Uh... All right. Yeah, let's see them questions. What are all the client fixes in this patch? The client fixes, they're all listed on the forum. So one of the mods can link the forums in the chat, and you can see a long list of things that were fixed in the update. I'm not going to read them. I don't, I don't know them all off the top of my head, but there's a list out there if you're curious. Mr. Idol, welcome. What will be the next part? Um, we've just released this update, Mr. Fabuki. So in terms of our future plans, uh, I'm not at liberty to say and discuss right now. And somewhat, again, I think is always, we'll kind of digest this update, see how people react to it, see how people are feeling. And then kind of that will help us direct. And obviously we do have some plans, but it's early stages right now in, t in terms of where we'll go from there. Uh, RAM uses on planet's address, not sure valid. We'll need to test that. What's the sodium content? You should check the, uh, the, Clang, Cola, the, Clang, the Clang Cola should have some stats on the side about it, if you're, if you're curious. With, uh, whew. All right, JB, have a good one, man. game testing just the the xbox game testing is just i think maybe they had a link for, a, a link for it but it's it's simply you send an email to us asking you know uh why why you want to test it and so on check marrick's blog guys definitely all the information everything that we've discussed on stream tonight is in Marek's blog. So you can see it in written form if you want to quickly scan over and find the information the, the information you're again looking for that I might have discussed. Have a good one, Aberreen. Uh I'm picking. Uh, haven't got my confirmation. Is it Ch uh, Chozo? If you send an email to support. If you're having trouble logging into the forum, uh, send an email to support and they'll, I'm sure they'll get that worked out for you. Any new function like spinning light working with programmable blocks yet? Uh, Joff, I'm not sure. If we've maybe got some of our CTG or scripters out there, they might know if the new blocks have connection with the programmable blocks yet. I'm not sure the, the extent of that. Uh, new build, oh, I did put some music on here. There we go. Uh, more blocks and size for basic building blocks. Uh, again, in terms of future plans, like when it comes to f features, um, I wouldn't want to say because I don't have the, the full confidence of what that will be yet. Um, I, I mean, I, I personally, I would love to see some more armor blocks. There's just a, you know, there's at least a handful that would be vital, you know, especially the two by one cor inverted corners and all that jazz. So I, I would like to see it personally. Um, but uh, as of now, I couldn't say if, we're, if, the, if that's going to be a thing, but I would love to see them. Uh, change skins without recoloring. You can already do that. If in get, I can show in game maybe. If we switch to game here, oh, let me load the game up. If you, there's a checkbox. If you, if you disable the paint thing, you can change the skin without changing the paint. Uh, how to add music to the jukebox uh you'll have to do it via a mod i expect or you might be able to do it by editing your local world fi game files i'm not sure but it could be a mod 
for sure. Um, there's already things that add in that kind of stuff, but I don't have a guide. Um, you have to, you'd have to. I recommend join the Discord community, and the Discord community, the modding community there, can help you uh, figure out some stuff when it comes to modding. It's relatively easy, I think, to do music and sound stuff. How you doing, Kermandale? You had a great time in the US. Hinges would be great. Modifier key binding support. First off, have you checked the... Because there is some new controller stuff in this update because of Xbox. So it's worth having a peek in the controls now because there were definitely some additions made because of Xbox and that, 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 that what you asked might be there. So, all right, the game is up. So let's uh, have a little look here. We can continue with the game. Uh, let me just change this. I'll enable jetpack for the sake of me uh, being able to fly around. Of course, I'm, I'm hacking, the, hacking the file here. So you can... Hey dude, Dover, uh... Yeah, SE Toolbox. I haven't... I know it's... It hasn't been uh, updated for some time. I, I mean, we don't have plans to take over the, the work of it, but I... That tool is great, and I would love to see it revived. Um, you can make a Clang Cola Cannon right. Uh, is Climb there? Maybe Climb can send me a link. That video, I, mean, I can probably find it here. Uh, it's a kind of spin-off video here, but this is uh, something you might appreciate. Let's see. There's a, there's a. This is in the game right now. The Clan Cola will be ejected at extreme speeds. Let me see if I can find the video I was sent for this. Uh, I can't see it here. Where is it? Can you can you message me at Klein? Was it was it was it Klein? Was it Northy? I don't know. It's, oh, it was from Northy Park. Of course it was. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's have a look. So this is this is a video from Northy Park demonstrating the destructive ability of the So I think this is the speed at which they are ejected in the game right now. If I'm not mistaken, this is the actual speed at which the... <laughs> oh, you can't see anything. Hold on, it's bugged. Wait. Hold on. Sorry guys, it's the wrong size, my bad. Rookie error. Wait, let me fix this. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. Alright, let's try again. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You can do this right now. This is cheers, yeah, and cheers. This is how the game looks. This is clang. It comes out at extreme pace. And I'm still, I still don't know if um, it's a feature or a bug. Because I, I feel like the guys kind of intentionally did something there. Hold on a minute. All right. Anyway, 
That is that is something that's there. You guys can experiment with that. All right. So back to the game. What what should I show off here? What do we have a look? Okay, so we're in this back in the scenario. Have a look at this new catwalk. See the railings here. Okay. And if you guys just repeat your question, like if you had any questions, please just repeat them because I, I can't. Like obviously, the the questions will dis disappear faster than I can um, respond to them all. So you you might just have to keep pressing it. All right, I've hacked the jetpack on now so I can show some of you guys the scenario a bit more. Now the bridge, I love the bridge that Smoky made. Again, using the new battered armored skin with the wood. Like, I mean, it's, it'd be cool if we had structural integrity, but it's super cool. Ah, good point, Valor. We'll show off the new uh, small ship ladder as well. Let's actually go back to the start. I'll, go, I'll, I'll do it how I did in the trailer. Here it is. So I'm trying to think of a use for this. Like you guys have probably got a better idea than I have, but like it's it's kind of it's definitely useful to have and people who like to build like large small grids, if you see what I mean. Um it will definitely be useful for. But like or like drop ships maybe hanging onto the side. I feel like the community will will have the answer to the best uses of small ship ladders. Like it was a request for sure. It was a big request. I'm I'm just curious what people can do with that. Drop ship, rescue ship. I mean, if anything. It makes it look cool on the top. <laughs> Gives some more effect here. So this this uh, rover you see is featuring the battered armor skin. And there's a whole road system in this map, so you can take a right. And if you follow the roads, you'll get to new bases. Like this this. This map is scattered with uh, outposts and secrets, quite honestly. Okay, this, this place is on fire here. What would be quite cool is, is seeing where, I wonder if, if you line up a small grid ladder with a large grid ladder like this, if you'd be able to actually cross from the large grid to the small grid. Like that's something I'd be curious to test if you're able to transfer from small to large grids by climbing if it's close enough. Because you can do that now, if you can do that now on a like a rotor on two separate grids on the, of the same size. So it'd be interesting to see if you could do it that way. Again, uh, D Daniel and asking about survival features. Um, we haven't really, there's, there's no kind of plans right now. We're still trying to figure out like, we've, we've got some ideas, but nothing is, um, we're kind of not limited to just like, we're not ready to talk about what we're doing next because as I just said, the, because of this update will be uh, an analyzing how this update's been received and where we go from here. So the future is not set in stone yet in terms of what we, what we do. Um, there's, there's lots of ideas and um, as always it takes a couple of weeks to digest the most recent update to see uh, you know where how best to proceed okay uh, thank you Jesse Jesse is there any area that I should touch on man I'm not sure if I think I've, I've covered everything uh, at least once uh, if there's anything you think, my friend, that I we should uh, I should look at more than we can do that. Let's have a look in here. Living quarters. Whoa. Okay. Some fire. Here. Beautiful, beautiful valley here. Hey, I'm and welcome. Let's 
have a look what else we got. Yeah, the new G screen, right? The G screen has been changed here. And a lot of I can say a lot of this is due to uh, Xbox thing. It, it's thinking it wasn't because of Xbox we had to change. It was more the fact is it, we had to be more we wanted to be more intuitive about how blocks are grouped for Xbox because of the you know limited thing. But in fact, it should work out where it's better for PC players as well because you have more things in one group. So in the seat, you have more stuff grouped up. So you don't have to have as much on your toolbar and you can just scroll through them, right? Because obviously you can go through the blocks individually still, like this. But the way the groups work, you know, if you come down here, let's see, let's find an example. Uh, like ladder, right? In the ladder grouping, there's ladders, there's the, the, the ramps, there's the, the two by one stairs and the new um, uh, grated stairs as well. So you only have to have ladder and now suddenly on your toolbar at your disposal, you have all the different uh, uh, methods of um, ascension or dissension. So, uh, is that, yeah, that's right. So it, it was something that we tried to do for like benefiting everyone, right? Um, so you can have, the point is you can have, mo you can, you can have, you know, in your nine slots in the first page, you can have access to more blocks. Thank you, Gwyn. Uh, I have a question. Is it intentional that the safe zone block, that the safe zone blocks any laser antennas communication inside? I don't know, Fubuki, actually. That's a good question. I would say no. And 200 meters from it, so 200 meters away from the safe zone and in, you can't communicate with laser antennas. I honestly don't know about that. It's, it, it... Right, uh, the new cockpit, yes. Let's have a look at that then. So we can get passenger seat out. We have to press it again to switch to small grid. There we go. So we can convert this, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it to daytime, so you guys can see it a bit better here. So we can, can, we can, first, it's the same size as this one. So we can come in here, delete the classic cockpit, and right off, we can fit the new open cockpit in. So a little look down here. So where are we? Over here. Here it is, and it's got the rust skin on it. One screen in the center, which of course you can put scripts on and so on. It's three by three by three. You've got little pedals down here. And people are talking about small ship glass. Well, I can show you something. You can now use in the from the pack of... Uh, you can get transparent LCDs on small grid. So this is a hack, and it's, it's not designed for this, and PCU can't be bad, but technically now, you could use transparent LCDs as small grid glass. <laughs> small ship glass at 20 times the cost, PCU-wise. So... I wouldn't recommend it, really. Uh, I hope that we will do small ship glass at some point. It'd be really cool. Uh, but uh, if you're desperate now, it's it's something closer to having that, right? Well, technically, it is glass. It is. It is. It's, it's a glass pane. It's just there's no slopes or anything else on it. So and we can hop in like this, and now we've got a. I'm still looking. It's still kind of curious to see how this open cock with the the three the, the size that it is, seeing just how well this will work. Of course, on the top of this vehicle, we have the spinning light, which I just removed from the toolbar. So, let's see. Warning lights. Turn it to nighttime. See it a bit better. This is an animated block, so. 
What? Where's this music coming from? That was not what I meant to play. Let's just turn the in-game music up a little bit here. Spinning light. Oh, where is it? A oh, warning light is called. So if we stop it, it's off. Just simply, yeah, simply a an animated block. So no clang involved in this light. But make it, it has the same controls. So if you want to make it green, you can do or blue. Uh, radius intensity. You can even have it blinking as it's spinning as well. Oh, there is a rotation speed. I didn't know that. So I didn't know that was a thing on this. I didn't know we had that. But apparently, oh, that's very good. Because when I last checked this, it was just one set speed. So it looks like the guys added custom rotation speed as well. So lighthouses inbound, I guess. Each side its own color. Not possible. Up to that's the quickest. So, if you want the full on red and blue police lights, you'll need two of these, but still, like, this is a <laughs> well, as you spoke about space discos, we already have one in this scenario from Smocky again, which I Strongly encourage you explore the whole the whole deal. I did it just a minute ago earlier We have Oh, hello We have just that Hold on with the I just died I think did I die Let's go down to it We've got a uh, Freddy's bar and nightclub I love how using the, uh, the, uh, what was this called again? This, I forgot the name of the skin. The disco armor, perfectly aimed. It's kind of cool because it does some really nice reflections on the actual, uh, tiles there. <laughs> and you can come up and get yourself a drink of Marek's Vision. Expensive, I might add. Marek's Vision is, is like... Four, four times, five times the price of the of a, of a Zokito, for example. So, <laughs> where did they where did say liquid water NA? Did it? Oh no, yeah, water water water's banned. Oh, there's a Clan Cola up here. Oh, you realise this Clan Cola actually came from the vending machine at like a hundred miles an hour. Let's go upstairs a second here. Check out this, uh... there we go. I think if I turn the texture quality up, you should be able to read it actually even better. I think, or oh, the model quality, let's have a look. I think I've got some things turned down maybe. Oh yeah, okay. So the, let's see if that helps it. There we go. I can't quite read it. Drink this at your own risk. Ingredients. The less you know, the happier you are. Let's leave it like that. Energy over 2400. Don't worry, you won't gain any weight because of this thing. We assure you. Soft, clangy taste. There you go. All right. Time is it now? Yeah, 20, okay, right, fine. Any other requests from chat in terms of the gameplay or do we just wanna really do questions now? And again, I'll be doing more questions tonight. I'm gonna to get some food and go home and I'll stream from home later 
and I'll be literally ready, guys. As I said earlier, I promise you, if you have a question um, and you stick around, you come over later the stream, I will get to it eventually. Like uh, the last two or three updates, I've stayed up until like 4 a.m. answering questions until there's literally no more questions left. So if, if you bear with me, I'll get to it. Grav gen vending machine equals chaos. Try the half blocks. Try to build half blocks. Okay. Right. All right, this is all, these are already half blocks, so. Half blocks placed. Half blocks seem fine. Yeah, Clan Cola, when it's in your inventory, it acts as a med kit and it will give you a health boost if you consume the Clan Cola. It'd be kind of cool if it gave you like 10% increased speed, but. Uh, another thing I wanted to remind from earlier is also the merch, uh, something I needed once this stream, I know. So we've added some, we've created some new merch uh, using the, with the new Clan Cola and Cosmic Coffee uh, artwork. So if you're interested in uh, picking up some new Space Engineers theme merch, they can check out our store. It's actually, um, they're looking pretty cool actually, the coffee one looks awesome. I'm sure if Blitz is still there, I can link that again. Given the chance to find some way to weaponize, you will do. You can I mean, do it now, Game Sage, because I don't know how long it will last being weaponized. It's kind of I feel like now it's quite good. Com street, com screen change. I'm not seeing anything different right now. Or am I? I forgot what it looks like before. Oh, the half stairs. Yes, that's probably the only things we haven't actually seen yet. And I haven't seen them for ages. So let's have a look at the half stairs. Which, I'm, which is really nice because it means, like, side of the oh, that's half blocks. If you look at that, it actually really does take up half a block space. So if you want really compact stairway stairwells, this is something you probably haven't been able to do before. Okay, I, I don't think we have, we have half blocks. I don't think there's any way to do that elsewhere. So we have this, let me get the other stairs grated. So you can compare here. I'll get all the catwalk things. We can kind of build a little cat. Let's uh, make it like cart battered armor in black. See how this looks. So so we've got our graded stairs. We can come up the graded stairs. Now it's a pain in the ass to do the, the initial. Once it's started, it's fine, but I need Mike to put this down first. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, uh, Mount. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I don't quite know what that's. Maybe I need one block to just. I need one block to like have as the base, and then we should be good. Now we should better just. So now I can mount it at the side. Strange. So it's almost, it's almost like the stairs are missing a mount point. Come up here. We've got. Got a corner. There's the greater catwalk corner. A little finickety to. Go. Let's have a, a one-sided one. Ugh. And we'll have this side. I don't know what I'm doing, why I'd do this, but. Uh, it's kind of a, well, I'm just pacing the voxel. It'd probably be easier if you were doing it properly. Then we have this one, and then we have a half climber as well. Like so, so you kind of see the difference there. You've got like a It's really weird seeing such such compact stairs though. Like this would be great for like entrance for ah, I guess if it was centered. I'm just thinking now for like things if it kind of fold down as as an access to a ship, but I guess because it's off the side it might not be so. But maybe you can mount it on a rotor. I don't know. Still, it's, it's cool to see the, the character fit up something so like uh, slim as that. Probably need a, a railing with the, like this, so you can, you know. 
So that's that. Catwalk blocks. In terms of railings, how many variants do we have? So yeah, we have the double corner and the diagonal. Oh, and then the straights. There's, there's four variants for the, the railings. So if I just get like a, a plane of... Now I can stop using windows as stairs. Yes! <laughs> okay, so here's a sheet of battered armor. And Jesse, apparently it's called battered armor. I thought it was called damage, but in the game it is called battered. So I don't know what happened there. So you've got the corners. Diagonal. There you go. So you can kind of come up with some cues at the airport. Yeah, battered is in like beer battered, you know, battered fish and chips battered. So yeah, there are diagonal ones. There's there's four variants, and there's of course the last one is the single sided, but there is no diagonal like that. Like sloped is what you probably want, right? They're all flat, but what you might want is like I guess if I guess if you had like a a block like this being able to mount like a uh, your own like down a ramp but I mean obviously that's what you can have this for and the railings match up with the stairs either the half stairs or the or the full graded stairs the grinded downstairs look interesting Hmm, yeah, it's a good point. How do the build states look? Because whenever you get an update like this, you always get the actual, the obvious stuff, and then you get the secret stuff, which is kind of like not expected, but. Ah! Typical. Ignore safe zones. Okay, well, yeah, if you want that kind of chrome look, they're pretty much the same, aren't they? Just lacking paint when it comes to the build states of, the, well, at least the first stage one. Okay, then they then they lose the, the 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 mesh, and they lose a couple of stairs, and that's it. Okay, so there is some build states there. Make a staircase using half stairs. Hold on, and Aragath, welcome. See, Aragath, uh, of course, definitely. Hold on a minute. How does that work? Oh, how would I wait? How would I do that? Because I don't... Uh... Wait a minute. Let me think about this. I think I know what I want to do. Let's see if this will work. So can I now put a stairwell? I can't because it's the same block. Wait. Ah. Ah. Ha ha ha. So you can have a stairwell in the space of one freaking block. That is pretty sick. Because normally, right? So now let's just do it. Let's just drag a. Let's drag a. For those super compact. So let's just like drag like a you know a column like this. Column like this. You go. You know where I'm going with this. Column like this. Oh my that. There we go. You can bet Aragaf had some fun with these blocks. I I'll need oh I'll need the other catwalks to do this as well, but so now I need to do it won't be quite as I need to have I'm lazy, so I'll just do this. But you could have catwalks the whole way up, of course. Uh five. Ah, I need it like, I need a lax saw, oh wait, anyway I'm not going to do the whole thing but you get the idea right, alright Blitz, is there anything else man before you dash because I'll be wrapping up the stream very soon man, so if there's anything else you wanted to, me to add, please do let me know. 
Put that, that. Oh, that's the railings. There we go. Let's check it out then. Up we come. Up we come. So compact. Much wow. Fantastic, Blitz. Have a great night. I didn't even think of that, Aragath. That's, that's amazing that you can really have that now. So it's an alternative ladder because in this smocky base, we see some... Let me just fly through here. We should see some classic stairwells here. There we go. So this is like, you know, normally, even in SE now with windows, you could expect to have a 2 by a 2 by one stairwell. 2 by a 2 wide stairwell. Which again, look cool and it's more spacious, you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not as crammed going up. But it's cool to know that you can actually, for those compact interiors and ships, you can really can have that now, so very nice. Building this in Windows must look awesome. Now let's think about it. Let's think about this then. So now if we use the new blocks, we're using kind of a little showcase here of the new blocks we have. What if we do the new window blocks, which are now technically two by, but like, I mean, they're not, let's see here. I mean, of course it's, they're not symmetrical, which is one point to keep in mind. But I still think some ship designs could look pretty sick just having it like that. And then there we go. So if you come in here, I'm dying. That kind of looks cool. Because the, from the inside, that it's pr it's much more symmetrical, like you know, like you have like these handles, it's slightly off, but you know, we've got a brand new looking corridor here. This is what, what we were saying. The new combination is going to be interesting. The windows blocks dark on one side, I believe so. There is a, a front and back for the windows. I'm glad we went with the modular route with these windows. Windows don't close. Again, it would be pretty cool to see like blast doors come across, but no. Again, there the could be, uh, you know, in the past, just the other before this, we added new blocks to the existing packs. There's nothing stopping us from doing that in the future, guys. So again, I feel like if there are some variants which could be beneficial, some more catwalk variants, some more railings variants, window like imagine corner windows. Like imagine if you had like a corner like that. There's nothing ruling out uh, expanding the variety of the the selection in the future. Like just, you know, if we added the L-shaped couch, for example. So if there are some shapes that you feel are missing from this, let us know. S speak out about it and uh, who knows what we can uh, do in the future with that. All right then, guys. What time is it? Yes, I'm going to... I need some food. I'm actually... All this talking and the jazz, it's uh, got me uh, very hungry now. So I'm going to go home, eat... And I'll be streaming tonight. I'll be streaming probably, who knows, three, four, five hours. And I, I make this promise to you once again. If you if you turn up, come hang out, I will get to your question eventually. I will by the end of that by the end of the stream tonight, I will have answered all the questions in chat. We normally do it where like by the end of the night the chat is dead, because like literally everyone's everyone knows everything. So um, feel free to, to come along if you haven't had your question answered and I really will try my best to get to it. It's just, again, trying to showcase all the new stuff and get to all the questions, it, it's quite tough, but uh, I, I want to answer them. That's the I want to answer your questions and have you guys be as knowledgeable to the update and changes as possible. So, so a little pan out here and 
Rudy guys, jump in, check out this scenario. It is absolutely fantastic. Like big love. Can we guys, let's see some love in the chat again for Smoky for this fantastic scenario that they created here because hopefully you've seen just a little bit of poking around. The, the level design uh, in this is really, really uh, incredible. I'm trying to get to the, the medical room here again. I'm skipping through a little bit. Here we go. Like this is just, I mean all the trailer, everything from the trailer was Smoky's awesome level design right and the scenario is massive i mean i'm just i can just tell you that out there there's more outposts and, and secrets so i i it's a it's a big deal you know we hired him to do this scenario for us the the first official scenario that we've had in a while i mean obviously we had the learn to survive which i guess was wasn't too long ago but yeah so yeah don't expect as smoky is saying like a scripted campaign something like the first jump it's more like it's it's a it's an open world uh, mystery, and there's some things to discover, secrets. There's a there's a kind of a loose story, and there's some cool things to find, but it's not going to have a, a super cutscene or anything like that. But still, it's it's just a beautiful environment which you can then use to later you know play around in. Um, see some of the farmland here as well. Up top, there's an there's an there's an, there's an, there's an antenna. There's a little uh, kind of uh, cliffside uh, home so yeah it's about damn time we uh, we added a, sm a smoky base to the actual game so there you go yeah I won't do any more spoilers <laughs> so thank you guys so much for your continued support Six years of Space Engineers. It has been an absolute blast. I'm gonna be, tomorrow, we're gonna have a, an, a Halloween stream here with Blitz. It's gonna be a, we've got a couple of surprises for you. Uh, one's already been unraveled by accident, but we're gonna have a couple of surprises. We're gonna have a bit of fun tomorrow. And um, I'll, I'll also, I'll be streaming all weekend doing some survival, doing some creative, doing some community races and all kind of stuff. Um, it kind of is a combination of the new update and celebrating six years of Space Engineers. So I hope to see you tomorrow or over the weekend and I hope you get stuck in with the game and the campaign, uh, the new scenario and enjoy it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, oh, in a bit actually. I'll be going home and I'll see you in like an hour probably. And I'll play the video one more time as we, we head out, so. Thank you guys, good night. Will it ever stop our need to create? We don't think so. And just when you think you've seen it all, we discover a whole new world to explore. Wherever adversity exists, there's a space engineer who yearns to overcome it. Whenever someone says it's not possible, we prove them wrong. With every new challenge we face, we find the right tool to help us prevail against all odds. If complications arise from pushing technology to its limits, we strive to find solutions. A world filled with choices while working amongst the stars. A place filled with music for you and your fellow engineers. Somewhere that's full of endless possibilities. Where science and creativity fuse into the technology of tomorrow. Spaces dedicated to rejuvenation and relaxation. Areas dedicated to viewing the known and that which lies beyond. Stations that provide the best medical care for you and your comrades. Locations for analyzing data which can mean the difference between life and death. 
Situations where the right features can result in something truly special. Sites that have been built with both functionality and beauty in mind. Venues that are safe and stylish. Creations that are equipped to deal with any situation. Communities that are teeming with engineers and resources from across the galaxy. Will our need to create ever stop? Absolutely not. Introducing decorative pack number two. Unleash your need to create.